Alrighty, hopefully this thing is working. Good afternoon, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Probably the two people that are probably going to watch the entire thing. Let me turn my TV off so I know the, I know the shit's working. Um, so today is going to be slightly different. So, the gaming dick uh, and I are going to play Minecraft Hypixel Skyblock a little later. But he's out with his mother having a nice um, Mother's Day. I've already I had lunch with my mother. Uh, we love her to death. Happy Mother's Day to every mother out there. But until the idiot gets back, we are going to be in Forza Horizon 3. We're in Forza Horizon 4 yesterday. We're going to be in 3. 3 happens to be probably one of my favorites, just because I love Australia, and I love the music associated with it. So we're going to go around in Australia and start finding barn finds that I have neglected to go find. So, let's start over here for the next one. I just happened to stumble across this one just now, and it ended up being a Nissan Skyline GTR. And I find that funny, because I'm in a 600 horsepower turbocharged freaking S2000. So let's, let's get back on the road and head up there and see if we can't find it. Hear me. Turn the volume up a little bit more. 40. There you go. Okay, let's try this. Come on. There you go. Got a catch. And it's also nighttime, which isn't going to help Turn around that shit. When it's Shut safe up. To do so. In 200 right. yards, turn right. You know what it's like taking an S2000 off road. This is a race car. Race Turn car right. is supposed to be on freaking pavement, not bare fucking grill. That's nice. Hopefully it looked okay on the um on the stream. I gotta build this thing to turn at every which hell in command. The lights on would be great. Yeah, we still though. And each Forza, because I have every Forza Horizon game. In each Forza Horizon game, I have some Honda that I daily drive. Forza Horizon 3. I've had it since it released in 2016, and since about 2017, yards, 2018, left. shut up, I've always had this S2000. This car should have a lot of miles on it. We can, There's a way to check. I'll have to go Keep check, left. and we can check it when we go out of the festival. But in Verizon 4, I daily drive an RSX, as you saw yesterday. Um, before the RSX was an Integra with that yellow Integra that I drove a lot, and then I also have an NSX. In Horizon 2, I have an 04 Civic Si, I believe, and then I forget what I had in the in the first one. <clears throat> Only 3 and 4 I can play on um, the PC, which I am now. Two of them, I would have to hook up my Xbox to the capture card. And even then, I couldn't use my steering wheel with it. And then one, I can't even play on the Xbox One at all. I don't think, unless they added it to the rollback shit, which I don't think they did. They may have. Actually, I think they did add at Horizon. They did, add, they did. They did add Horizon 1. They didn't add Forza Motorsport 4, which is another one I, you know, the first Forza game I ever played was Motorsport 4, and the car I daily drove in all of those races and kicked ass in was a 2012 Honda Civic Si, and as I moved up through the races, up the class ranks, I just modded the engine, modded the engine, you know, stick a turbo in that K24 four-cylinder, stuck, stuck a bigger one on the... K24, you know, eventually got a 400 horsepower, 400 or 500 horsepower 
uh, Civic SI K24 engine. What are you? That, that's a Nissan Silvia, okay. In 400 yards, turn right. Alright, let's take a look. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Good. Stay down this road. Yeah, you are poop, aren't you? Alright. Off road. I believe I gave this thing all wheel drive a while ago, so I believe this is an all wheel drive S2000. It has the original engine in it. Since I know you can do engine swaps in this game, uh, it does have the original F22 engine in it. Um, I just put a big fat fucking turbo on it. No way I already found this thing. Yep. Come on, what have you got for me? Ooh, a mother. I can't even see it under there, is that... No, it can't be. It looks like one of the rarest and most valuable Maseratis ever made, currently being used as a bookshelf. Mate, if I'm right, this is huge. Give me a chance to get it fixed up at the shop, yeah? Damn, all right. I want to roll today. I'm just coming across them. So... Let's go back. While we're over on this side of the map, Kiwa Valley. Come on, bitch. Let's drive up here to the Outback Horizon Festival. Safe to do so. And let's go take a look at this car. Oh, the S2000, because I, I haven't driven in Forza Horizon 3 in a while. So I forget what exactly is under the hood. I know it produces like 600 horsepower, and if you give it enough room, it can go up to like 210 mile an hour or something. And I built it to be like fucking ridiculous. I forgot how ridiculous this thing is. Alright, so... But no, I've driven, driven this car and this game for a long, long time now. In 400 yards, and it should have at least 500 miles on it, theoretically. Where the fuck am I? Turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. I know this guy in that super ain't about to... Is that a super? I think I put the damn dirt behind me. But no, this is probably... I like this map a lot better than Great Britain on Forza Horizon 4. I heard on Forza Horizon 5 that's supposed to be coming out, I'm guessing, sometime this year in 2021. Um... Oops, fuck. I didn't even see him. In 400 yards, um, turn right. It's supposed to be the map in Mexico, which I think is going to be kind of interesting. You know, whenever you do those drag races, when you get up to like 120, it's always in Mexico, even though we know it's not. You have to say that to the cops will come for your ass. We're about to go through the airstrip. Yeah, we are. We're about to go under it. In 400 yards, turn left.
But it's supposed to be like a Mexico map, which I think is going to be interesting. Horizon 2, I believe... I get confused. It's either... It's either Italy or it's France. It's one of those two. I want to say I want to say it's France. Yards, turn right. I do want to say it's France, but um, I know Horizon One is Colorado. But this turn is probably right. one of my favorite maps. I just don't. In I'm not a big yards, fan of the way Britain. Right. The kind of the atmosphere, you know, it's always so damn rainy, yards. it's always gloomy, it seems like. And correct me if I'm wrong, because, I, I mean, I, I'm just a dumbass that lives in a small town in northeast South Carolina. I don't know how Burton is. But personally, I like the Australia map. And of course, I say that, and it looks like it's about to start dumping rain. So you have arrived at your destination. destination. There she is, the club racer. All right, let's take a look. So this is my 2009 Honda S2000CR, which stands for Club Racer. You know, if you live under a rock and not a Honda guy like I am, God forbid. But um, Asian sports cars, sure. Yeah, it's all wheel drive. So let's view car. So I kept it pretty much stock on the outside, just newer tires. Um, and then what's under the hood is for you to find out. Okay, so this, um, yeah, 5,000 miles. Yeah, the car, I, I put in just about 6,000 miles on this thing. Which I'm guessing, since it's only a few, it's, you know, it's only like eight, ten miles is a lot of miles in this game to drive. That's actually really fucking impressive. Um, 66 hours driven, $137,000 I put into this car. I put way too much money into this car. Um, yeah, so, this car, I've had the entirety of when I had this game. So, throughout that time, I've driven this car the most, and I have 5,800 miles on it. Uh, the, this, I believe, the M4, I believe, was my first car. 888 miles, so yeah, that's... Time during 15 hours, so it's... It's definitely a car... See, okay, so the Type R. This is what this is the car that was supposed to replace the S2000. But oh, I forgot I have one of these things in here. Oh God, what is this? Never heard of that. And then I have fucking Celica. Sunbeam Tiger. You go, Tiger. But my favorite car has always been the S2K. So now that we've looked at the S2K, let's go and see the barn signs. Alright, the Daytona Hemi. So, I did a bit of background on this one. Turns out the guy imported it to modify for the Australian touring car circuit. Never finished it, but at least he saved it from a life of going round in circles all day on a NASCAR track. See, that's a pretty car. I'm not a Dodge person. You know, but this that's a pretty car. So let's go back and look at the rest of them, and then we'll go find more farm funds. Oh, God. This thing didn't just win Le Mans. That same year, 49, it won the Targa Florio and the Mille Miglia as well. Hence, 166MM. This is what it's like to be a car nerd. Yeah, I'm sorry. That that thing was my like Down syndrome. Um, what is this? With this much horsepower, you will rule the wasteland. 
I asked the Horizon people if I could put on some spikes and crossbows and a flamethrower, but they said no. Well, I would say no, too. Holden. Oh. You know what I found when I started working on it? The entire frame was twisted. That's how much torque this thing has off the line. <laughs> Brings a proud tear to your eye, doesn't it? America, bitch. The Jaguar Mark. This thing was so quick back in the 60s that every crook had one for a getaway car. So the police started driving them too. See? Car culture. Bringing people together since 1959. Yeah, now what the hell is this? You have no idea what a nightmare it was finding parts for this thing. Guess now we know why the previous owner gave up on it. Still, runs like a dream now. It's all yours. You want to give me background about... I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. And did Lamborghini actually design that thing? Or is it a spin-off of goddamn Hummer? What is this? Only a 1.5 liter engine, but a full fiberglass body so it weighs nothing. Should go like the clappers. And it's street legal. What are you waiting for? Go let the clappers never say that again. Toyota FJ40. Oh, yeah. My dad had one of these. Never took it off-road. Never got it dirty. Never drove it much faster than 50. That's probably why I take after my mum. <sighs> Looks like a kid go past 50. Typical Toyota nature. Alright. Part stripping and cataloging. Okay. And then we have the Nissan GTR V spec. So let's go out and find more barn finds. Alright. So let's go in up in here. Okay, I'll do the wheels for the later. Come on, catch. There you go. In 400 yards, turn right. <sighs> One Skyline GTR V spec, mate. Ready to collect when you are. Has I just fucking pulled away? No. I'll get that whenever. I Turn come back. Right. Shit, we have a dildo van. Come on. In 200 yards, keep right. That's an NSX for damn sure. Keep right. I can tell. I didn't really see the car, but I can tell because I know how those C, those C series engines sound. And that was definitely Recalculating a route. Make Cream Shot Jr. over here try. Yeah, there's the other side. In 400 yards, turn right. There's a barn find rumor that we could yep. investigate. Would you like me to set a route there for you? In 400 yards, turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. What? What the fuck? <gasps> well, that happened. This ain't gonna do. Fuck. That's not what I fucking wanted. Uh, R. For a retard fixer. 
There you go. Beautiful as this. Yeah, I wasn't about to get T-boned. Saw freaking Suzuki Lover 69 over here. Yeah, yeah. 100 miles an hour on a dirt road. That felt bad luck. 600 horsepower, and this thing could not handle being rear wheel drive. On pavement. No telling what it would do on, you know, gravel. No telling what it would, the hell it would do in brick. My RSX that I have in the Great Britain map, Horizon 4, I believe, makes 265. I didn't go ball to the wall like I did this one. Recalculating route. It was a quick little car, and then I raced it. You know, it defies cocking Nora. Oh, is that right? What? Kill a Mexico 666, the fuck? In 400 yards, turn right. Earlier, I saw somebody with the name Saggy Tit. No joke. We might come across him again. In 400 yards, turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. Another F2K. You have arrived at your destination. Oh, what's that? Whoever it drops you out on navigation is usually not too far away. That's gotta be it. Yep, that's it. I knew we'd find it. We always do. Uh -huh. Whoa, cool! It's a Volvo, but what a Volvo. Front engine, rear drive sports car. And if it's the one I think it is, it's famous. Come on, let's get it out of here. Why would you know it's a Volvo?